<coughs> oh, what a boat! <laughs> oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, <laughs> he's trying to jump in the boat! Oh, get out! Oh, not another one in the weed! Oh, big weed monster! That was a good eight. That was a sick eight. Oh, still on. We're still oh, get out of the weed. Come on, mate. Play the game for me. Oh, you might just wet everything. He has scone that. I don't know if you can see him in the camera there, but that is a good Monday. Oh, I played the game. Have you done your thing, have you? I think he has. Righto. I'll get him in. That was a good eat. <laughs> oh, you're a bit better. That's good. That is good. How's that? There's that twitch it right up the top. That's awesome. Oh, you're still not done, are you? Get that in here. Oh, you're ready, aren't you? You ready? What a fish. Oh, no, mate. You ready? Come on, I'll give you a little pinch. Beautiful. How good's that? Yes. Oh, that's a boat. <laughs> oh, he sconed it. Where you going, buddy? <sighs> Jumping again. Oh, how good. <laughs> the new Esky works a treat. That dude was just sitting there. Got my drag set pretty hard, so when they're pulling line, <laughs> it's actually actually having a go because I don't want to get them caught in the weed and lose them. Oh, nice. That's right on cue. It's probably nine o'clock. I think it, what is it? Moon, moon rise, I think it is. Nine o'clock, bang. Thanks for coming, Barry. He's a nice one too. Very nice. Twitch it right in the corner. Sick one. That is a sick one. Hey mate. Hey mate. Can I have your mouth? Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> just popped out. How good. We'll hook him again, eh? That's you get. Oh, that's a good fish. That's the damage. Oh, so good, those lures. Look at that, how clear is this water? Super clear. That's cool. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I'll show you my esky that I've just put in here. It's actually, it's giving me like, probably another foot. Right, I'll get this big dog in. That's a good fish. Oh, was that you? Because that wasn't me. Ever heard of Barra Fart? <laughs> That's a first. Right, big fella. What is he sticking roughly there? He is 90, 94, 94, 95 roughly. Woo -hoo. Oh yeah, I'll show you him with the other, other camera. Let's get back a bit. Righto, there he is. Good fish. We went like 94 or 95, but that eat was pretty cool. Pretty warm up here. And like I said, right on that moonrise, oh, it's a bit of a bite time. I've had about probably five or six bar me, and then um, 
got to that little period and we're on, but I'll put him in the water, it's so clear. I'll try and turn this camera around a little bit so you can see him. <laughs> Big bucket mouth with that. Get a bit of oxygen back in those gills. Gonna send it. He's gonna send it all right. How cool is that? That's pretty much what you see. Cruising off. How good. I'll give you a little rundown on what I'm running after. See if I can get another one. Percy's on the something. What are you doing, Percy? Oh, and there's a barra right there. Good little spot, eh? Oh, barra, turtle. Who knows? Don't you love it? First up in the morning, bit of slime. Oh, back up the dam again. Crack a day. Just landed a fish just then, which you'll see soon. Um, oh, I'm speechless. That heat was unreal. Uh, I'll show you my new setup. I've actually chucked in a 200 litre Esky. I'll grab this camera here. And I'll tell you why I've done it. So, if you look where my Minn Kota is, right there, here, that was my casting deck, which is good. Seeing heaps of fish, getting it done, smacking them. But the fish are that spooky up here. You kind of, I'm thinking they're seeing, they're seeing me before you're kind of seeing them. So what I've done here, put this 200 litre esky in in the background here, which has given me probably, oh, let's say another foot, easy. So then I can see probably another five to 10 metres, viz. So when I'm creeping up on them, I'm starting to see them before they're seeing me, vice versa. So if you've got a big esky, chuck it in there. I'll put a bit of deck on here. I just found this bit of EVA in the shed. Min Kota, and man, once this sun comes out, like, look at the conditions behind me, it's like glass. But um, if you're like me, and you like going for a swim, <laughs> take your keys and your phone out of your pocket first before you get up there, because you will go in. You haven't got big calves, unless you're Mick Guthrie. Um, you'll probably fall off, so chuck him in the boat. I'll, um, I'll run you through what I'm using again. I might just stick this back on the pole. I'm using the same as last time. Little 4000 Saltiga, well it's not little. The reason I'm using a reel like this big is because the weed, which you'll see this last fish that I caught it here is just insane. These fish will just absolutely bury you. I've used two and a half thousands, you probably would have seen other videos. And um, you, just, you just get fed into the weed. And you can't do a thing, you lose the fish. They got line through their mouth and it's, it's not a real ideal situation. Just using the atomic rod again. Um, if you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff, you don't have to go out and buy the flasher ski, you don't have to go buy a salty, you don't have to go buy a Stella. You just gotta buy something that you can afford at the start. And then if you're doing it all the time and you can justify it, then get something a little bit nicer. Like, yeah, it's simple. It's like, like going to the reef GT fishing. Don't go and buy a Stella straight up. Unless you've got heaps of money and you just want Tats Lotto, good on you. But um, yeah, get what you can afford, and then if you're doing it all the time, and you can justify getting something more expensive, more expensive rod and reel, go for it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna feel a lot better. It's gonna be like driving a bloody Lamborghini or Ferrari. Um, then the other thing, this rod here is like, it's a 10 to 25 pound, like it's heavy, but you gotta get them out of this weed. If you can't get them out of the weed, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's kind of disheartening. Um, so I'm gonna keep pestering these barra keep going and um, yeah hopefully see you on another one very soon I'll show you what I did too on the last one the last one man he ate the lure so I actually had to I cut it all off because if I was just trying to if I was gonna try and get this hook out like, like you usually do I would have just ripped ripped his mouth to pieces ding there goes the phone that'll be Jesus um, so I just cut it all off and got in there and got it right so this bit here was like really really wedged like in his mouth, so it was quicker and easier on the fish, just cut the line, get in there the plies, boom, straight out, and done. And um, how do you like, you know the people that say the barra don't fight in the dams? 
What's with those people, eh? What do you well, you do, there's, there's some socks, you, do, you get wet socks. You get them in there, you hook them, uh, might do half a jump and it's in, it's like, is that it? But that last one just was off its head. Anyway, I just think those people that think, oh, barrow, barrow up the dams, they don't fight. You're just watching this stuff on YouTube with your penis pump on trying to get your little prawn big, you know. And it still doesn't get big, so, yeah. Stop showing off in front of the cat and dog. Get out here, have some fun. Let's go get after it. Got him! Oh, yes! Oh, out of the way, buddy. Uh oh, red electric. Am I red electric? I don't know. It's got me in the way, though. Get out of there. Whoa. Still there. Oh, oh, gee whiz. Up you come. Oh, that's what. Oh no, he's got me fair in the weed. Uh-oh, it's a big trouble now. Oh, there's me leader. Come on, I'm just trying to muscle him. Come on, big fella. Are we winning? Oh, yep, there he is. <laughs> that was a cool leap. Took two goes to try and get him. Oh, get up. Get up. <laughs> this is hectic. Oh. This is why you gotta pretty much have a decent rod with a bit of go about it. Oh, I've used light rods before in this, and this is what happens just get buried straight up. Whoo! Got him out. <laughs> How cool! No, no, are you done? All right, come around here then. He just hit the electric. Hey, he just hit the electric. Whew. Sickness. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, buddy. So, you actually did want it. Hey, you did want it. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Come around here. Oh, I'm just going to soak that in for a little bit. That was wicked. Hey, look at you. Tried to bury me. Get this off ya. Smacked it. It's actually got a... G'day mate. G'day mate. Flick that undone. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that hook. Yeah, you weren't getting away, were ya? At all. Man, you got some girth here, big boy. Hey, he's a good fish. Alright, I'll get this other camera kind of set up and I'll show you what he's all about. Let's twitch it. Doing it again. Oh, yeah, boys and girls. Oh, I love this shit. Oh, look at that bloody line cut ya. 
Hey, eh? battle scar for the girls and boys, mate. Love this shit. Oh, put him on here. What's he go? Jeez, you're girthy, eh? That's about roughly there. They're all about that rough same size. You get your tail so I can see it. What's that? 90, 95. 95 ish. Yeah, that'll do. There you go. You have a little rest there for me for a bit. There he is. Oh, tipping the rocket. I think you can see it. we're in the shot. We're in the shot now. But that's him. What a good fish. He actually, like, hopefully you would have seen that first footage because it's like so clear. You would have seen his head in the weed. Just doing his thing in there. And I kind of tried to piss him off a little bit to get him out. And he didn't really want it. Just took off nice and slow. Got another little cast in there and just worked it like really, really slowly. And... He was hungry. Oh, wicked. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else to say because that's sick. Those eats, God, those eats are good. Right, I'll get him back in the water and we'll keep on going. There it is. Mr. Twitch it doing its thing, the four inch. Oh, you yeah, wants to go, don't you? Get the pinky mother Oh, got him. Yes, that was slow. <laughs> oh, that's better. Got him hooked, I think. He hasn't done too much. He's still sleeping, brother. <laughs> oh, he's trying to jump, but trying to not. There you go. These are these wet socks we're talking about. You get one every now and again. I don't know what I'd rather be doing. I'd rather be watching that, hooking that up with the old pump on, eh? Hey? What would you rather, have the pump on or pump on one of these guys? Oh, he's a bit skinny, that's why. But we got him. He rubbed it up. You have rubbed that up. Oh, he just bit me. He just bit me. Yeah, that goes me nearly goes me out of the rod. Oh. That was pretty cool. Yeah, he is a bit in poor nick. See how he's got all the bones out here. Hey? Eh? Old smacky. Oh, have a look at that. It is nearly Christmas. Oh, got a little Christmas tree in there. You sucked that up too, did you? Now, where's that twitchet? Oh, the twitchet's right down there. Christ. Nearly went out your asshole. Oh, man. This is another one. Wow. I reckon, probably going to have to come back out. There it is right there, the back of his gills. We might have to do a little bit of surgery, can we? Can we pop that through there, mate, or what? Where's that hook? Somewhere there. I think I just popped him out, I think. Give me a look here. Did we pop you out? We sure did. 
That's how you do it. It's that bloody hot at the moment. You're better off if you can. Do it. I'll grab your net. I haven't got a net with me. But um, do that in the water. Save these big girls. What a fish though. <laughs> Didn't do a hell of a lot, but just the way you kind of, the way I twitched it over his head and just come out really slow and just went, boof, I'll have that. It's pretty cool. Ah, right, I'll get him up for you. Show you this skinny little dog and we'll send him. Nice one. Yeah, definitely not as heavy as that one. Oh, there's breakfast. Not bad, the old yogurt. The old yogurt banana. Oh, it's freaking hot on my foot too. He is roughly 98. 98 on the Richter scale. Um, we're going to do here. Flip that over there like that. Hey, 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 hey. You just stay there, brother. Here we go. Here's the old skinny girl. Not much in the guts, so. eh? Oh, yeah, a little bit of a squirt or two. I'd probably do that. But anyway, we'll get him back in as quick as we can and um, have another crack. I'm nearly done. It's nearly home time. But um, it's amazing up here, eh? This esky is definitely a winner. I'm seeing heaps more than I was, so I'll get this bad boy in and um, we'll keep going. Hello, catch up. Oh, there she is. Just got a couple of quick little photos. A little bit of revive. And um, I'll see if I can get that other GoPro under the water, get some action. Get action Jackson. Oh yeah. You're ready to go, are you? I think she is. You ready to do it? Oh yeah, there she goes. Pretty cool. Well, that's me, that's a wrap. I think I'm out of here. I think I'm just gonna cruise this kind of weedy edge here. Little Terry's just popped up. And um, cruise on out of here, it's starting to get pretty warm. The wind did pick up before too. I was about to bail early, but um, she backed off again, so. Got that other fish, been a cracker of a day. So yeah, if you are gonna try and do this kind of stuff, make it easier. If you've got an old esky at home or something you can stand on, makes it so much easier eh, to see these fish. And like I said, they're super spooky. So if you can kind of see them before they've sensed you even there, you know, you're kind of, you're, you're ahead of them already. Then you gotta get them to eat. That's the next thing. But anyway, it's pretty cool. Very awesome. Righto. Catches.